Welcome back, this is Atlantis. And I'm Sarah's Knight. And we're going to continue to play Corona Trigger. Sorry if you didn't hear that, I'm leaning back. Yeah, he's lounging. During the off time, uh, off camera, I went ahead and grinded the materials to go trade for the uh, newest weapons. So I got um, Aeon Blade, Dream Gun, Dream Bow, and Magma Hand. Which, uh, as you can tell, both the Aeon Blade, which raises his attack to 90, and the uh, Magma Hand, which raises Robo to 100, is stronger than the supposedly magical sword Mass Immune with an attack power of 84. <laughs> Mass Immune's stupid. Apparently. So, anyway. Could have beat Magus without it. I don't know. Did you, it, like, you were doubling his, the damage you were doing with your magic after hitting him so, so much. So, after that, after he drops his well, counter everything, just use physical attacks okay. on him anyway. So. Because he sucks. Here's the burnt down village that Kino was talking about. Or that, that, that villager informed. And look, it's Ayla. <laughs> no! You will not. <laughs> I got one! Yes! <laughs> I have a little pile of fruit smacks I've been eating. And SK just made a shot for them. And I recovered a few, but he got one. I got one. Damn it. Ah. So basically, the people who burnt down this were the Raptites, and they were apparently pissed when we took on Nezbel and Azela. So they came down and burned a village. And Ayla's like, well, time for some revenge. And the old man's like, we can't, we can't go up against them. And he's like, let me go alone. Which that would be stupid. So we need a way to fly. So we're going to get some pterodactyls, known as dactyls in this game. And we're going to fly over there. Oh. Well, Ayla's planning to do it by herself. There are actually, they actually took prisoners. So there's actual tribesmen over in the Tyranno lair. So, you know, that, that was like a little hint. Let you know where Ayla went. You know, she's like, give dactyl. Where would you go get dactyls? Maybe at the dactyl nest. We'll see. <laughs> Actually, let's get rid of these guys first. Didn't the antipode do well on these guys? No, it did like zero. Oh, yeah. Thing is, if you hit the monkey while the rocks are still alive, he'll run over and go grab one. So... It's in your best interest to get rid of these as soon as possible. Alright, so, yeah, uh, also, I, I don't remember if I mentioned this, but after getting all the weapons, I also ended up getting life for Chrono. So. <sighs> now this monkey can no longer See, I like how after a certain time you don't have to have him in your party all the time. Yeah. Which is awesome. They, they should have done that. Know, give all the attention to the main character crap. The, but the, honestly, the one thing, if I can say anything against Chrono Trigger, is that they should have had that option from the get-go. You should have always been allowed to take Chrono out of the party and replace him with whoever. Well, because of that, you're definitely always going to learn Luminaire, his last tech before the end of the game. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I usually, I whenever I play through normal game like this, I make sure I get at least everybody's final tech. Now, that does require a little bit of extra grinding, but not that much. I mean, yeah, I can think of a lot of RPGs where grinding to get all the spells and shit takes much, much longer. Hell, even getting up to 99 to fight the new form of Specchio doesn't even take that long. I mean, if you've, if you've ever grinded enough to beat Ruby and Emerald Weapon in Final Fantasy VII, then there is no excuse for not learning everything there is in Chrono Trigger. Well, if you just don't feel like it. Well... Well, that's given. What I'm if just, you don't I'm, feel I'm, like manning up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, tell the man up story. Uh, okay, I've I've got this friend of mine, and he, he he's never gonna see the LP. Yeah. Well, I tried to get him to watch like some of my earlier ones, like back in Skull Monkeys, but he just wouldn't. Yeah. So, but anyway, I've got a friend, and he loves. It's like he's just looking for dirt to dig up, you know, drum up problems, you know, and like if he wants you to come over or something like that and you like 
say, you know, like mention maybe wanting to do something else. He'd be like, oh, I see how it is, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, me and SK do that to each other just to be funny, but he's like serious, right? So, um, there's this one time, and I was getting tired of this from, you know, before, but there's this one time he wanted me to come over to his house and uh, help him with something, right? And my phone was dead, so he called my girlfriend, finding out where I was. He wasn't at his house at this time, by the way. And she didn't know if I was going over there or not. So she was like, uh, I don't know what he's doing, right? Oh, nice. Uh, one critical attack did it. Yeah. So he didn't He didn't know what he was doing. Or, you know, she didn't know what I was doing. So at this point, I'm at his house, right? And I get a text message while I'm waiting for him to come home saying... If you didn't want to come over, you might as well man up and just say it to my face. And so, I'll, so, and while I was waiting on him at his house, I went to his uh, to his uh, house. He usually leaves it unlocked, or at least, you know, or I checked his back door and it was unlocked. We, when he lived in town, I uh, we always just walked into each other's house. We're cool that way. And uh, yeah, kind of like Jim. So. And, you know, he was like, you know, he's like, send me that text message. And I'm like, oh, motherfucker. So I said, I'm actually at your house, ass. By the way, your back door is unlocked. And then I left. I went back home, which was actually by that time like an hour and a half away. So, and then I just turned off my phone. I didn't even want to hear his bullshit. So when I got back home and turned on, there was like a few text messages like, dude, I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. So, all right, mess of mail. Now, yeah, I mean, that's that's not as good as the miss robe. So, so I'm why did give he that ever the... come to El Dorado from Texas? Oh, he... Canada, eh? oh, that's it. Oh, and by the way, I want to take this off so I can give the miss robe to Ayla yeah. um, because I'm going to take Marley because both Marley and Ayla are the absolute weakest as far as list of texts. So, but anyway, so uh, yeah, he likes to talk shit about you know. And he, he also gave me a hard time about coming down to hang out with him only because my girlfriend was there at the time. And, you know, that that was a reoccurring problem with him. So, you know, that's he That's kind of a given, though, that he well, would go down to Texarkana to see Rachel. All right, but, and then, and the, here's what's lovely. You know, he gives me a hard time coming down and hanging out with him, but it's not to see him. It's to see his girlfriend, and I'm, he's just kind of a, a side... He's a jealous boyfriend. Yeah, so, <laughs> um... He called me the other day. He got a new Wii, right? And he I wanted. Just know, I just now noticed Cure only costs two, and it heals like Everything. all your HP. Yeah, and wow. we're almost, almost got haste. Nice. So he got a, a Wii, right? And he wanted to mod it. And the only way you can mod it is with the Twilight Princess game save mod. So you have to have a copy of Twilight Princess. He actually, he never comes to El Dorado and hang out, hangs hangs out with me, right? So uh, he called me. He's like. Hey, you got a copy of Twilight Princess? Cool. And then, like, the same day, he's like, Oh, by the way, I'm coming to El Dorado to hang out. I'm like, yeah, fucking right. And that's when he asked me, Hey, can I borrow Twilight Princess while I'm down? I'm like, you piece of shit. I never, I didn't even say a word. I, I was like, I'm going to put on my big boy pants. I'm going to be and play the, you know, the better man. I'm not going to say a fucking word. <laughs> oh, and by the way, he, he before he even left Texarkana, he got a speeding ticket. And he that just decided bummed, that bummed him out, and he turned her. Hands. Yeah, he bummed out. Didn't even come to El Dorado then. And I, I texted him like, "If you wanted to borrow it that bad, why don't you just go rent it?" He was like, "Oh, shit, you're right." It so, would have cost less than gas to yeah. get here. And now with the speeding ticket, if he go, does go and rents it and does it, instead of renting it for like three dollars, including the speeding ticket he got from his previous. Uh, thing you know, it's he, like he's running a game for two hundred and five dollars. So yeah, now we have an airship. No, that was that. Yeah, that was my little story there. So an airship that you use once. Now that's pretty much it. Yeah. So uh, well, why don't you take a tour of the world map? All right. <laughs> Even though there's really not much else but the yeah, Tyrannal Air. Let's see. Well, this is where we came from. This is the uh, place where we fought Azela. This is the tribe. This is the burnt down. Village, Dactyl's Naz, Forest, you know, grinding Running range. And here's the, this is where we're eventually going. And there's some optional stuff up here. This is the uh, Sun Keep that uh, we can't access right now. That's funny, it doesn't even show up. 
And Wait, the Sun Keep is to the right, isn't it, on this island? Oh yeah, you're right. This is this is this is what's really cool. See, there's a definite plane here, right, with a definite like little opening. Yeah. This is in the this is the 1995 version of Chrono Trigger. This is you know, in the DS version, this becomes an optional dungeon. This is the, to the inner sanctum or the, the the lost sanctum in the DS version, which I think is really kind of cool. Yeah, it's good they added stuff finally. But isn't that weird that this is here, like before <clears throat> the inner sanctum was even conceived in somebody's mind at Square, and this is the Sun Keep. Sun Keep. Well, it's nothing just, in there but a cave with yeah. a shaft of light. And that's pretty much it. In fact, here you go. That's that's the world map. So, yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, I forgot to give uh, Ayla the um, mist robe. Let's see if we can't give her something a little bit better. Rage bad. Cool. Hey, actually, that would be pretty nice. Well, the Rage Man's actually something you give her if you can get Ayla up to 99. Uh, something you might not know about Ayla, if uh, if you... A uh, guy just runs out there like, Hey, guys! Intruder! If, now, even though these are called Reptites, they're slightly tougher yeah. than well, before. Ayla, 99. She gets a Bronze Fist. And the Bronze Fist is guaranteed to do 9,999 points of damage if she critical hits. So, and you can also critical hit on counterattacks. So, yeah. Awesome stuff. And by the way, I have 99 to everybody before. So, fun stuff. So, this is a Tyranno layer. We're coming in here to kick some ass. We're just going to deal a death blow to Cat attack. and her race Volt of bite. dinosaurs. I actually like Volt Bite. I will be doing that. Uh, I use that against the Toronto yeah. all the time. Oh, yeah. He does like over a thousand. Well, whenever he drops his death. Yeah, this, Hala just now learned her third tech, so... This is actually my fun. favorite party right here. Like, first time I ever, like, went and completed Chrono Trigger fully, you know, to get everything there was, 99, beat new and everything, I went with these three. Did you know Final Kick, their, their triple tech, counts as, uh, as, as magical damage, even though it's more seems like it's more physical based? So it works on Specchio. Oh. So yeah, we just freed all the villagers that were captive, yay. Also... Like, just to, so you kind of know the the range and scope of the different types of tri triple techs you'll learn, uh, one of the really more useful ones is uh, Chrono, uh, Robo, and Marley. Do you remember what that one is? Lifeline. Lifeline, yes, which grants, like, auto-revive if you die to all three party members. Which is awesome. What else it use? Man, I hadn't seen that in forever. What else it use? Like Hill Beam, uh, life, life, two. Life, life from Chrono, Life Two from Marley, and Heal Beam. Pretty useful. Yeah. Why don't you uh, let him see a little cat attack action? <laughs> it's it's really not bad. Oh, it's sexy. Let me tell you. Yeah. So, yeah, we still got to go get Kino. Isn't that what a douchebag, I mean, Jeremiah used to say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I can't believe he married Sarah. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that is not a Sarah I would protect. Oh. Well, actually, I'd, okay. If it really ever happened, I'd do it because it's right, but I wouldn't dote on her because she's... she's I don't know what to say. Look, look, there's a button. There say. is a button right here. We just previously released villagers by pressing a button just like this beside the door. Well, it's stuck. And so what does Ayla do instead of pressing the button? Let's beat the door down with brute strength. And why is Marley watching the wall? She doesn't want to see Ayla humiliate herself. <laughs> Ugh. She doesn't want to see the stupidity of her distant ancestors. And instead of hitting the button, you know, instead of Marley hitting the button to let let them out, 
What does Ayla do? She's like bonsai through the door. Roar. So basically, Kino's going to open up the way to go farther into the dungeon. So now we've saved all the villagers. It's all and now like, you know. Oh, like how, are you going to get the treasure? Oh, what was it? A mid ether? I have no idea. I think it was just, a mid ether. Just say it. Eh. I like how you named the video where we first meet Isla. Me stupid. Me stupid. <laughs> yeah, I like naming shit that's, you know, context to what has <laughs> happened. Why couldn't we have done that? <laughs> Psychic powers. <laughs> RE4. Alright. Enemies on the left. Not anymore. Actually, I still say the best RE ever, though, is the remake on GameCube. Not anymore. Yep. Oh. Yep. Uh, actually, I'm thinking 5 is the best. I mean, it's a good. Speaking of which, after this, we're going to... The rest of the... That's the rest of our day. I'm going to start watching RE5. Let's see it. All right, I will see, gladly we'll play RE5. through it. All right. I like how they don't they attack themselves. If yeah, then in fact that's. Oh uh, no! Isn't that awesome? Now the only it the does so much damage to them, but it barely touches you. Well, and the thing is, you can't do that on game plus mode. If you do that on game plus mode, you're just gonna kill them. So it's cool to you know. Hey, let's level up. 17 tap points, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it is. Actually, this place is a pretty good place to grind for tech points. <laughs> Wait, are enemies even still around after after you beat this place down? What do you mean, after you beat this place down? You know, like, then the meteor come and... Uh, that's not a meteor. <laughs> or a big ball of fire. That's not a big ball of fire. That's Lavos. <laughs> or whatever. Oh, you just mean just up until you beat the final... The final boss, the boss of this place, you can come back and grind. Yeah, well, big spoiler alert. This is the age in which Lavos came to uh, to uh, this planet. He, he's been under. Damn, damn it! You're BRB! <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, I was I was making a big caper there. Yeah, he made a dive for my box of fruit snacks. I had to pause the video and uh, retaliate. I fell over in the chair and that gave me good cover. And <laughs> I was like desperately ripping open the pack. Phone hole! While Lantis was trying to like climb over the chair and reach for. Remember those guys I dropped down earlier? Yeah, they're back. Oh, I never even knew that. Yeah, that's what happens. If you give the uh, dinosaur the cat attack, he'll probably automatically. Oh, did you see? I countered and killed him. Cool. I wonder <clears throat> how can they name this guy Pterosaur, and then the one that's later, Gigasaur. Because Giga is. I thought weapons. At least in weapons, Giga came first, then Terra. No, terabyte, gigabyte. Oh, wait, you're right. That's backwards. Terabyte's bigger than gig. Well, yeah, and then Robo has, like, a giga arm and then a terra arm. That's backwards. So, like, what is it? A kilo arm would be stronger than that? <laughs> now, the way I just went was optional. You didn't have to go that way. I just did it just for... Well, for the tech wait, points, Wait, were you back at the entrance just now? Yeah. And you can go and drop them down the hole again. You can just lather, rinse, repeat. Or you could just fight him there, actually. Oh, nope. Not touching me. Up, oh, up. Oh, yeah, you missed. <laughs> I'm going to go back for the tech points. <laughs> okay. That'd be cool if you could learn Ice 2 before this is over. Give me some... Ice Sword? No, it doesn't hit multiple. In fact, I don't have anything that hits multiple. Alright, just... I'm going to heal up after this. Damn you, going for my fruit snacks. SK, Master Thief. <laughs> since when since when was Master Thief on your resume? Always. Always? Always rob from the rich and give to the poor and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey, um, my co okay. Yeah, yeah. I was You just have a I quiet voice, that, man. Uh, you speak I, I'm up. I'm telling you, dude, my family's so loud, I just Yes! There it is, haste. I'm a happy man I did now. Did my best to not be like him. 
fine. I'll take more tech points. Even though it's just one lone enemy. <laughs> 310. Just thought I'd say that. Wait, I'm going to check Ayla's attack power. Let's see if she barehanded... Her is going to be... Her bare hands, she doesn't wear a weapon. It's just bare fist, and it is stronger than the mass immune. <sighs> just can't get over that. Up, oh, random fight. So, uh. Anybody been keeping up with that TV show, Harper's Island? What? <laughs> Don't ask me why, because it's not that good, but it's better than most TV. So, it's like this show that started up a little while ago. It's like a murder mystery. It's going to last a few weeks. All right, wait, 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 wait. Did I do this right? There you go. If Hopefully I did that to where everything dies. Yes! Right. Yes. There's By a very way, distinct way to do that. What happened to that healing? Oh, I didn't need it. I'm too epic. <laughs> uh... Oh, we need to go to Tex. Cure. Nah, hit each other with your weapons. That'll, that'll heal you. <laughs> now, this room's just full of warp points. There's a treasure chest. One has a, uh, a ceratop, I think. Uh, a ceratopper, which is a type of helmet. Anyway, this show, it's just like any other horror movie you've seen where people slowly die off. Yeah. Only you don't know who the killer is. I mean, I guess it's probably the probably 13th. You always knew. But it's, you know, totally predictable and unrealistic. Like, the way everybody reacts to a situation. But for some reason, I'm still keeping up with I don't know why. Wow, that failed. The only TV shows... only I only watch two TV shows, and I'll keep up with. Yeah. One is Family Guy. Oh, you mean like now? Yeah, like now. And the other is uh, Mythbusters. Actually, actually like that show. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So, more random fights. But yeah, dude, you need to get the DS version of Chrono Trigger, and the optional, the the new content they have in there, the new dungeons and shit you can do, very much worthwhile. I'm getting it all right. Speaking of which, did you did yeah. you say you could give me your um? Is it SD card or your uh, SD microchip, whatever it's called? Oh, yeah, 4 gig. I got a 4 gig. I'll give you my 4 gig. So you got like an 8 gig or something like that? Yeah, I've got an 8 gig in mine. Yeah. I'll take a 4 gig for free over buying an 8 gig. You, you only have a 1 gig, don't you? Yeah, and I stored like 10 games on it, I think. Good stuff. Yeah, dude, check it out. Like, the show starts off, this group of, like, people about maybe a little bit younger than us, just out of high school or something, they're all traveling to this island called Harper's Island. And, like, that used to be the main character's homeland. It's like this girl who's got psychic powers or something just like Psychic him. powers. And, you know, she's going along with her friends to Harper's Island so two of them can get married, right? Well, I'm serious. It's like, there's been seven victims already or something, and they're just now noticing something's wrong. Really? It's like, the groom, his uncle died in the first episode, and, like, a few days later to the present time, he hasn't he hasn't even started to ask, uh, I wonder where my uncle is. What? It's an island. It can't be that big. I mean, people gotta notice when somebody disappears. And the reverend, he got beheaded in the Fall. in the woods two feet into the woods next to his church. It's it's the church where they're getting married and nobody thought to check on him until just now. By the way, if you haven't noticed, if you hit the left button, you fight. The right button opens it with no fight. So, Whee. More fights. <laughs> hey, thank you. I wanted one of those. So it's kind of like Wesker's, you know, mysterious virus that kept him alive. Plot convenience. It's all about well, the plot. Well, no, no, it wasn't a mysterious virus that was keeping him alive. He was just a very rare human being. Uh, oh, well, yeah, as you found out. Yeah. Ari five. Ari, but before uh, that, we called it plot device but, virus. Yeah. No, it is actually the T-virus. Oh, it was, 
I think it was like a pure version of the T virus, like its original form, the progenitor virus, which is what the T virus eventually became. I wonder how Wesker and Burke had ever found out about that. Uh, you know, before you find that out in Resident Evil Five, man. No, I mean, in, like to Wesker and Barkin, did Barkin like do a test on like this that decided he he was like, oh hey, you're one of those rare humans. Well, so. you find that out in Five too. So Wesker's like, okay, give me that because I got some plans. Well, <laughs> well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but let's just say it's it's not a coincidence that he was one suitable for the uh, virus. It was it was by no coincidence. I swear to you, know, like, the Be, and it's all action. because of Spencer. Spencer had all this planned out. That dude is behind the scene. Oh, Spencer. Yeah, Spencer. I, I, I gotta see this. I gotta see how all this works out. Gotta see RE5. You, you gotta see RE5. RE5 is awesome. You're lucky you managed to convince me it wasn't breaking my vow of silence. Yeah. RE silence. Well, you're not playing it. You, you were just mad because you're, you know, playing it too much. Ah! See, it, barely, it barely hurts you, but to them, they're like, Ah, fire! And you think they would be adapted to it because the Tyranno lair is right over. No, I think it would be adapted to it because it's inside their person. You know? Yeah, well, they're just, okay, even, even more. You, they're, just, they're just... It's like, well, well you gotta wonder. Like, if Reptile accidentally spat his own acid on him, would it... Rock throw! Yay. Oh, all right, already. Yeah, oh, I love Ice Toss. And I love Falcon Hit. Falcon, hit! Show me your moves! Sorry. Oh my gosh, like it's Nisbel! You, talk to, you ah. can talk to Nisbel right now. He's just like, Azalea's in the back. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. One Falcon hit will do it. Yeah, and I'll do it too. Line up, Falcon hit is one of my favorite techs in the game. It hits in a vertical line or a horizontal line across the screen. Yeah, big and, damage. In fact, just, I'd say it'll do at least 700. Yeah. And Ice Toss does really well. In fact, I'll probably be doing Volt Bite Ice Toss on this Nesbell fight. I will actually wait for it. Nesbell just points away to you, and when you try to leave, he's like, eh, no, hold actually, on a second. Actually, actually, let's uh, speed belt that. Because I want her to do dual text this entire time. Well, if she were to attack, counterattack, it would be kind of useless because yeah. every, every attack you do like starts building his defense back up or something like that, right? Yeah, pretty much. How, but I like we... how you can take your time. You have to shock him at least three times before he unleashes. That so is true. So you can just you can you know wait and get your best attack going. It's like hey, he's in the back, and I'm like, oh, thank you for not being an ass and making me fight you. It's like, <laughs> I guess it, what? Why did he do that? Is he just stupid? Hey, he just wanted to play with your mind, I guess. Hold it! But actually, was it the greatness bell defeated somewhere else? Yeah, so here we go. Have some volt bites. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. Well, not yet. But I'm you just gonna haste it just... up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about hasting it up. Let's keep that knowing caps going. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow, that did, that did a shit ton of damage, actually. Maybe wow, because it was melee, oh, physical mixed with lightning, kind of. Yeah, I didn't think it worked, but hey, let's do it again. Haste. Here Just you go. remember, after the next one, he's gonna yeah unleash the beast. And I don't again. Well, I'll just RO whirl. Nice. Gotta love some haste, man. I think he's only got about the same amount of HP as the first in his fail. Uh, crap. Just Make a rock pod. throw. <laughs> I want to get haste going on everyone first. Uh. Yeah, I'm go going. I'm getting. Before he does it. You mean this? <laughs> wait. Yeah, that. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna patiently wait. Well, why well, is attack is gonna go to waste though? Yeah. Well, uh, not too bad. He pretty much got his HP if you do one more bolt bite. No, I want to do. Uh, where's a uh, ice toss? Let's 
Let's get some ice toss going. Throw that ice. Falcon hit! That's probably not going to do much at all now. Because you've hit him a few times since the last time you... Yeah, that's true. Him. Yeah. We need to Volt Bite it up. You need to do one more R World before that. Oh, or just boy. just Marley right quick. She should be fine. Everybody else should be good. <sighs> I don't know. Chrono might not make it. That is, that's going to suck. That's going to suck. Oh, boy. Attack for all your worth. Knock on wood, buddy. Oh, no. He's fine. Oh, 7 HP. Let's just... Okay, what else are you waiting for now? Bolt bite. Ugh. Stop. Leave him alone. For the love of all's holy. Watch that also not do damage. Eh, <laughs> just two more good hits or so. Let's just rock throw and see if that doesn't get it. Chrono, man, we need to get your HP up. <laughs> nah, see, look, Chrono's in his badass pose right now. He's like, man, <laughs> I don't need that. I'm good. I know it's not going to do much damage, but maybe it'll finish him off. Go on. Finish him. Yes. So this the second didn't prove to be much of anything either. 15 tech points. Come on, I could fight a new for double that. Yeah, really. You know, Zayla's taste in decoration is pretty much about as poor as Magus's was. <laughs> pretty much. Kind of, kind of obscene. You're obscene. Mom's obscene. I obscened your mom. Well, it's like Max is more obscene as they was just kind of more on the bland side. So that Everywhere top you look, there's stone. All right, there's two of those pterosaurs up here, but I'm not gonna fight them yet because I got to go in here and press a button to unlock that doorway. Yeah. And I just end up having to fight them again when I came back. So over. That was probably the shortest battle in Chrono Trigger history. Apparently, you haven't ever played a Game Plus mode. Alright. One of these buttons opens the door. One of these buttons opens the door and also lets out enemies. One of these do open uh, a f hole in the floor. Or one opens up a save point. Which I can never remember which one's what. I don't know why. Well, if you do it in the right order, you can open up the holes in the floor and then you can open up the... So, then when you step on the other one... Oh no! You don't have to fight now. On the way down, dinosaurs are like, "I'm gonna get you now." <laughs> Full ether for the win. So let's fight our two pterosaurs. Actually. Oh yeah, one, one then two. Whoops! Fail on my part. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, that's it. No. Oh, no, never mind. I was, I was thinking, for some reason, I see her critical, and I just am expecting her to do max damage. I. Oh, 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 no. You know what this reminds me of? Remember that stupid show back in the day for kids, The Dinosaurs? I think that's what it was called. You mean? Like the, the little baby that little was like, baby. Not the mama! Not the that show was stupid 
That's it. Haha. <laughs> now I'm just gonna get this guy down. And for Lord knows what reason, we all watched Full House. If you didn't, if you're one of those rare people that didn't, proud of you. What can I say? Yeah. At least I managed to avoid Pokemon. I, for I keep forgetting that's also a show. And for some reason, like... Capcom has a really bad habit of this, but they do it in Chrono Trigger 2. You can talk to the throne later in the game, and you'll, like, sit in it and make this evil gesture. And they did that in... Well, and they like did some... making fun of Azela. <laughs> I don't know if you can do it here or not. No, you can't do it in this one. But then one's Ceratopper. Get it? Ceratop? Er? Here. Actually, I just now do. Ceratop? I don't think I ever thought about it before. Oh. But, uh, yeah, in Resident Evil 4, you could sit on a throne somewhere. Yeah, pretend you're, uh, yeah. uh, sad. You can do that in Resident Evil 5, too. I don't know about you, even though there's less defense, I go ahead and put Ruby Vests on everybody for this. I'm fine. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, we will see. I can't believe we're only 40 minutes in. We got this. Yeah. First things first, we got to get rid of it. I never catch on to what what hurts is able magic or physical attacks, because it seems to be. Well, let's just kind of experiment, and it always seems to be like you know one moment uh, he's Marley's on haste duty. <laughs> Best thing to do is haste her first, so she can get faster towards hasting everyone else. Yeah, that only did 200. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to try some rock throw for a bit. Ah, la, 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 la. That did nothing. Rock on your head. Thank you. That did it. That was a little tougher than you think he'd be. Well, yeah, actually. Uh, I got 2,700. Ha. Chunk. Thud. No okay, damage. Maybe it's magic. <laughs> All right, we'll try some lightning too. <sighs> and plus, the Tyranno is just like hanging with his mouth open, like I'm gonna get you. Still have that silver stud on Chrono, so. Man, we're just not doing damage, period. I uh, lightning two did about normal. It's just you don't really have any strong magic. Okay, so uh, ow, 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 and ow. I hate that. Good thing you had that going. Well, actually, here I have an idea. I'm gonna do ice just. Toss. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to uh, chain lightning twos and ice toss. Sizz. And that should be that. The thing is, you need to take out Azela as soon as possible. Um, Azela makes this fight very hard. After Azela's gone, nice. Well, I mean, okay. Well, it's better than just using ice with Marley and did anything with Ayla. Yeah. You'll you'll get her soon enough. Him. Him. I I know I keep thinking it's her. Oh, yummy sleep. I know, right? Ayla's got uh, Ayla. I say Ayla's got a nice little assortment of attacks. But that'll wake her up. Use cure. Problem solved. Indeed. And what I like is the HP he's getting from from her. It's not counting towards anything right now because you hadn't even touched him. I know. I think one more ice toss might do it. Why? Why is somewhere in midair you start laughing? It's not. It's funny. like. <laughs> You should be, like, screaming for your life. Well, I mean, why did he throw you why back he, on... Why did he just he toss, toss you, you off, off the bridge? 
All right. Okay, that's it. Now, HP down, if you watch our HP, it's like opposite regenerate from, like, regen from Final Fantasy. It's just going to slowly start draining for the rest of this fight. There you go. Start doing everything you can. Oh, Volt Bite and... Use haste on somebody else. Why not? Ice. Or did you... Everybody's haste, dude. Uh, you could nice. just wait for Ice Toss. Well... Let's just see how much that does. If it does at least 100, 200, yeah. We'll just... All right. Now, he, he what he's doing, what he's counting down to is this breath attack where he's going to hit everybody with uh, this... Uh, just going to just... Bleh, like all over. With, <laughs> except not acidic bile, but fire. So, you know... And I, I think it does... everybody when he does that. Ah! It does around 200-ish. So... 10,500. Thank you. You're welcome. In fact, uh, as soon as I see, like, two, I'm going to just let it go through and get our world ready to go. Or, all right. Well, I mean, you can... Yeah, I've, I've got time. I forget, using haste is so helpful, as you can tell. Without haste, he probably would have already done it and been counting down to another one already. <laughs> all right, I'm going to hold up. I do a roller kick with Ayla while in the meantime. Just okay. I like seeing that. I don't know why. Well, cat attack works, whatever. Well, you're not gonna throw him. He's too heavy. That like I, there's. I said roller kick, not rock throw. Oh. Uh, I'll say if you tried to rock throw, Ayla would just be like, "Um, uh, you're stupid." It looks like I mean, it kind of looks like she just double jumps in the air, kind of like air hike on DMC. Actually, I want to do another R.O. World just for... Yeah, I mean, if he tries to eat Chrono, that'll get him, probably. Meh. There we go. That'll get us back up to par. Then we just lather, rinse, repeat till he's dead. That's... Yeah, this, this, he looks intimidating for a first time, but if you just know what you're doing... Well, yeah, he's actually quite huge. Huh. That only did half its normal damage. Does it... I forgot. Does it take a while? I no, think? that did normal damage. And Ayla is about to run out of MP, so uh, I'm going to give a mid ether to her. Yeah, screw that anymore. Screw that anymore. I think all I was trying to say was screw doing that anymore. Oh, there you go. I forgot. He, it's like he ups his defense back up for a minute after every time he does. Oh, well. You like that vault bite, don't you? Yeah. It does not. It almost does a grand. I mean, come on. Well, fine. Here Let's you go. Let's see if Falcon hit. All right. Falcon hit it is. Let's make that the finisher. Yep. Falcon punch. You know, it only makes sense that Chrono would fly all the way off the bridge. Let's we'll start some ice toss. Let's play around. All right. In fact, here, have some lightning too, just for kicks. Wow, that did very well. Depending on Let's how much lightning two now. does. Nah. I bet this will actually get him. You think Ice Heart will do it? Yeah. Bet you a jelly bean. Okay, I'll take it. All right. Ah, ha, ha. ah not as good at predicting HP as I thought it was. Oh, well. I bet this gets it, though. I'll bet you, I'll bet you two jelly beans. No, I don't want to eat two jelly beans. I knew I had that one. <laughs> 25 text points. Now, there's... Well, no, I can still get Actually, more from not, a new. Really? Ugh. 
And his dead carcass yeah, was... Doesn't it make sense that he should, like, crumble? I think he should have fell off the side of the bridge to his doom. Yeah, or so. He no end cap. see, like, an overhead view of his... Mm. Of him going all the way to the ground from the top of the tower and shattering. And I can see him falling to, like, an overhead view. Kind of like how they did in Turtles in Time whenever you're transferring times. You know, yeah. how, kind, of, kind of the way they did that. All right, let me get this jelly bean. Oh, yeah, here you go. Just close the door. <laughs> Just uh, okay. And his was talking smack. Yeah, I know this one's gonna be bad. It's gonna be Apple. No, it's grass. <laughs> grass favored jelly bean. Well, that's the gamble you take whenever you bet jelly beans. All right, and this is this is our main man. This is the big red star. This is Lavos. Traveling through the galaxy, trying to find a hapless, a hapless, helpless planet to you know suck life from, and he's sitting there flying around space, and he's like, "Hey, let's go check this place over here." Oh, look, there's a planet. This one looks nice. Let's let's have a little buffet here. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Was that the Tyranno still falling to his doom, or? Was that I don't know. Because it sounded. And so, and Ayla coined the term <laughs> big fire or fire big. <laughs> so, actually, no, that might have been Lavos because that was happening real time. This is actually the point in the game where Lavos descends on Earth. So, yeah. that was happening as they were having that conversation. I like how she keeps yelling for Kino to get on, and as soon as he does, she gets, she gets off. back off. Oh, like, hold on a minute. It's kind of like how the guy, he's not allowed to be late for a date, but the girl can. Yeah, it's like, well, I had to fix my hair. <laughs> or, it's, I mean, like, what, or like say, you know, a girl and a guy are both getting ready in the same place. The guy takes five minutes, that's too long. As soon as they start walk out the door, the girl goes back to check her hair or something, but it's that's like, okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just a and second. the guy was like, I oh, no, I love us. Oh, no, if the guy was like, I forgot my wallet, there'd be a problem. Yeah? You're gonna make us late! Oh, game glitched. No, just kidding. Where are we now? We're, uh, <laughs> around the crater that was created when Lavos hit, I guess. Were we inside it? <laughs> yeah, well, if that's true, how did we survive? Yeah, Slavos descended in this era. Too bad he couldn't get like a giant baseball bat and bat him back out into space. <laughs> that would have stopped this problem from ever happening. I wonder who was that running ahead. Ayla. And there goes so Marley, evil. and there's Chrono in behind. Chrono's just not going to say anything as usual. So... We're going to go ahead and uh, check out what this crater. I don't know. A gate appeared. That's weird. It's like, did Lavos and go Lavos, this gate? Yeah, that's like when he hit Earth and it somehow spawned a gate. And now he's already under the Earth, starting to suck up some power to rape all of us at a later date. He's taking up live stream. So let's go ahead and see where the skate goes. Let's let curiosity, you know, once again murder a feline animal. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, I get it. Yeah, I like how back during that cliff scene. Yeah. It's like where you see Ayla, Chrono Marla's little sparkles. Like, Ayla's like, you see her run on ahead because she's all eager and stupid. Why is like, oh, let's go far. And Chrono's you can... probably just like, whatever. <laughs> God, whatever, bitch. All right, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Besides, you're going to be playing next. We'll uh, see how that goes. Are you going to try to do the six new fight? Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. It's no, wait, 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 wait. I'll fight it on the terms of it doesn't count. It, it doesn't count. It, if, it's hard. Uh, we, know, we know somebody's going to get like, it. If, if, someone, if someone thinks it's not fair, then I, I would not do it. All right. 
basically, I, I didn't really explain. We don't know where we are yet, but basically, there's. Oh, never mind. It says right there. This is twenty or twelve thousand BC. So that's we jumped up a few million years. What's Isla doing? She's dancing. And Marley is just like lays on her knees like she's tired. All right, and this is the uh, magical kingdom of Zeal. It's a floating island. There's a, uh, you know, a frozen tundra of an Earth below. And these, this is the the basically the origin of magic. It's where people look to go up in magic. There's books of elements, and if you open them in the proper order, um, you open up a uh, a secret door. There's two places. There's Inhasa and Kajar. Kajar. And we'll just go ahead. And now I already know the order. It, there's some stupid book that's like, uh, Waves Summon Wind and Wind Makes Fires Dance. So we need Waves. Uh, ah, stupid little boy. All right, we're kid. I was like, can I eat your cat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so she's a lesbian? Ah, 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 ah. Uh, uh. Gross. The black wind begins to howl. Yeah, he is. He's a bad boy. Restore. All right. Well, wave summon wind. And wind... Wait, where do you even read that? Makes fire dance. I don't remember where you read that, but... Cause only yeah, well, some book says that gives you a hint. Wait, yeah. if you lose in this fight, though, isn't it game over? Uh, I'm not going to lose. <laughs> but I might get in capped. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Let's see it. Ah, six news. Oh, my gosh, we're going to die. Falcon hit would do really well. Yeah, nice. that's what I'm doing. One HP. Cure him. Are you they, they do the one HP commonly. I know they do. That just does one HP, and they will go straight for him. I'm sure of it. Well, not yet. He better hope that holds. And you're okay. Yeah, for now. <laughs> if he can just get oh. rid of three, then the rest of the fight will be pretty easy. I mean. Ow. Huh. Huh. Well, um, might cure. Crap. Well, I mean, in the middle of an attack, I can. You know, kind of lag behind. This is probably the best part you could actually take for this. Do what? This is probably actually the best part you could take for this fight. Oh. Oh well, you know. Uh, actually, you better watch it, man. You uh, gonna need to act fast. If you just lap us everybody right quick, it'll get uh, take care of all this. Hurry up. And we'll do this instead. Look. Oh, well, at least we're not counting this. Because, seriously, it's not... You don't even get... Um, fine. Have my HP. I don't care. Oh, no, we did just the one hit. Oh, wow. Lucky me. You're right. These guys do do the one hit more frequently. They're not stupid like the one in 65 million BC. Actually, you know, it kind of makes sense. Everybody was stupider at that time. Alright, let's just end this. Come on. Oh, that was convenient. And fight is over. Six news. And now, how many tech points do you think you would get from that? Guess. Just guess. Wrong. You don't get anywhere near it. You just get 90. That's kind of gay. It is gay. It's Although really gay. Although, if you gay. do this fight as, as many times as you want... No, you can't. It only happens if once. If you could, that would be worth it, I think. See? And the stuff you get's not even worth it. That's the other one where you get the, the black rock. Alright, there's one thing about this, this game... What? Ah, I never read that. Yeah. All right. Well, the some one thing about that, this game, um, some triple text you can't do unless you have uh, a certain accessory equipped on one of the three people when they're in your party. And these are the triple texts that don't include Chrono. So. 
Uh, you want to call it LP for now? Mm, yeah. Well, well. Yeah, I forgot when I didn't stop the timer when we were um, fighting life and death over that packet of uh, f fruit snacks. So, yeah, we're uh, we had to jump. I tell you, I like that stuff because that's the, that's what woke me up while you were playing Dead Space. <laughs> Yeah. Screaming, you know, aliens. Yeah, yeah well, it was so funny because I was sitting there playing Dead Space for the first time. SK was kind of like nodding in and out of sleep. And, you know, gunshots, people screaming in pain, enemies roaring, screaming, explosions in the spaceship. SK vents, making a lot of noise. Yeah, and SK wouldn't fall asleep, but I reached up to get a little packet of fruit snacks and just the rustling of that, and he stirred awake. I'm like, really? <laughs> Are you serious? But anyway, guys, we'll catch you next time. You mean like now? Well, no, not now, but in a second.